Hi, and welcome to Dog Intervention. I'm Big Chuck McBride, and I help dogs with behavioral issues. But today, we're working with a puppy. Uh, this is Kurt and Maha. What can I help you with today? Well, we just got a new puppy, and we want him to learn how to walk. He won't walk. He won't walk, walk for us, Chuck. Yes. Having a little bit of difficulty. Just huh? a little. Yes. Well, you're going to learn how to walk today, buddy. Okay? Say hello. So hang on to your hats and come along for the ride. This is Dog Intervention, and I'm Big Chuck McBride. Okay, what we want Cooper to do is to come out for his first walk very calmly. So we're going to correct every time he moves out until we ask him to come out. That's good, you can drop that. So now that he's calm, we're going to ask him to come out. So good point. Does he come by himself? There we go. So bite his mouth. Okay. Now that we have at least one size of When we walk our dog for the first time, we always want to make sure that our dog is right next to us. I kind of use what's called the L position. I get the dog right where I want him. I've got my thumb right here, mm -hmm. and then I loop my leash, okay. okay? When we walk dogs, their heads are always forward. They don't sniff leaves, they don't chase after cats, they only look forward. Our body posture should always be straight, and we should look forward. And then we begin our walk. Now since this is Cooper's first walk, it may be a little difficult to encourage him to move forward, so we'll try it and then we'll correct if need be. Okay. That's how I walk this way. Okay. Now the key is, is that we have to make the dog move forward. So even if we have to pick him up and assist, we want him to move forward. Notice that I'm not pulling, but I will not let Cooper move backwards. He has to move forward, even if it's an inch. Right now he's shutting down, so we just have to be patient, calm, let him think about it, work it out, and then we will move forward again. How long do I do that? I'll be back in first. It depends. Okay. Even though he wasn't very good at walking, we still move forward, which is great. Notice that I'm not pulling Cooper. I'm letting him move on his own. He has to figure out how to walk on his own. Most people make the mistake of dragging the dog. Well, that doesn't do anything but traumatize the dog. <laughs> so, yeah, six miles up there. so we're going to move a little bit, let him do it on his own. Notice when he stops, I stop. Mm -hmm. Again, the mistake is most people will tug the dog to encourage right. him to move forward. In dog language, that's a very rude way to teach, and dogs won't adhere to it. So he stopped, we stop, he calms down, and we should be able to move forward a little bit. Okay, you guys can come on over here with me.
guys can come over here for a second. Okay, it looks like Coop is finally getting it uh, through his little brain there on how to move forward. Did you notice how we took baby steps that we didn't force? We let the dog figure it out, and progressively it became better and better and better. That's how dogs learn. That's what, where most people miss it. Dogs learn through a process of moving forward, making, uh, they have to be made to face their fears and get through them. So now that we came all the way from the door to the driveway, now we're going to try our walk. It should be a little bit easier this time. let a dog move ahead of me but in this case since it's the puppy's first walk we want to encourage him to walk so we're just going to let him lead if he wants to Yeah, well, honey, oh. right it's okay, it. but you want to make sure that, that you see these things like this. And you encourage him to move across, because see, now he's not going to want to go past one. So you let him figure it out. So by same tension, same tension, I'm making him face this. Okay. It's not going to hurt him if I do it right. No. Okay. So I just move him this way a little bit. He had a bad experience, so we have to make sure that he goes over it. Good for him. Okay, now we can just go around. Okay. He'll move around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this will take a couple of months. are dominant, yes, right. dominant, but only they're dominant submissive, not dominant aggressive or dominant oh. high level dominant. Oh. So even though that they're dominant, they're very easily fixed with the touch. In other words, they get pack leadership real quick. Thank you. 
you guys are going to bring me. Big Chuck McBride, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, stay tuned to Dog Intervention.